husband and I are the parents of four sons. We had four daughters. No sons. I'm a grandma and I don't have boys at home. Our wives had some unique experiences this summer at Philmont, and we've asked them to share those with you so you can be touched by these experiences also. We hope that as you listen to their thoughts today, that you too will feel the spirit of what they learned at Philmont, and that you can be touched and learn how that you can contribute to our scouting program. I remember when my son started scouts, and we were very supportive and excited, and we helped him rise, rise through the ranks and, and to um, fulfill his requirements and to learn and grow. And when he started into his Boy Scouts, we were, we were also very supportive and, and worked hard to help him achieve the goals that he'd made. But I remember as he received his Eagle Scout Award and we finished up the Court of Honor th that evening, I remember thinking to myself, I'm done. This summer while we were at Philmont, David Beck, the General Young Men's President, talked about boys having an innate sense of adventure. And he said that when they don't have opportunities to have real adventures, a lot of times all of their talents get channeled into computer or video gaming and things like that so they can fulfill that need to have adventures. And as I thought about that, um, I want my boys to have real adventures. I want them to learn to interact with people and I want them to have chances to, to lead and to go do things and to experience challenges that will help prepare them for the things that they're going to face in life. First of all, my husband and my brothers were scouts, so I always thought that scouting was probably a positive thing for young men. Then I started to see that the scouts were doing all kinds of fun and wonderful things that the young women were not able to do, and I developed a little bit of an attitude about scouting. I, I still thought it was a good thing, but I started to, I let that little seed grow a little bit, and it clouded my view of how important scouting was. I realized uh, from, from the wonderful conference that there are ways that I still can contribute to the scouting program. I have grandsons that are beginning in scouting and I can work hard to help them and support them in their uh, achievements. I learned also that I can um, be a merit badge counselor if there's something that I can do there. Um, I, there are boys that I'm in contact with or in, in my surroundings in our church and, and in the community that I can support and help in scouting. So I learned that there is still a role for me in the stage of the life that I'm in now. I had a life-changing experience, a testimony building experience when I went to Philmont, New Mexico. Uh, there was one session where the women were all in a room and they passed around a microphone and had everyone share a benefit of the scouting program. And as, as, as it went on, as everyone shared their input, there is just a picture that developed of, of the value that the program has for our boys. I don't know what happened. It wasn't something that someone said, but all of a sudden I, um, I just felt the spirit so strongly and so powerfully a witness to me that the scouting program really is divine, that it was a divine program that the Lord had for the young men of the church. And um, that even though these activities that I was telling you about, the things that scouts participate in, um, however, ex however great and fun or even costly that they were, that they were things that um, the young men and boys need to become the young men and the missionaries, the husbands and fathers, that the Lord wants them to be. And that even though those things might be great and even beneficial on some level for the young women, the young women don't need them to become the young women and missionaries and wives and mothers that they need to be. It is the activity arm of the priesthood and it is an opportunity for them, I think, to to face challenges in a setting where they're going to be safe and they're going to be guided in that process. And they'll have opportunities to draw life lessons from those experiences. And those are those are experiences that can't be replicated. You know, even at home a lot of times or, or sitting in a classroom or you know playing a video game, there are experiences that can only be had in real life that, that give them that opportunity to really have those life lessons sink deep into their hearts. A quote that they used from President Monson that he said 
years ago that the Boy Scouts um, help boys become finishers. And I really, uh, that really hit me at the conference that it's really true, they can build those characteristics and strengths and skills to become capable um, men with integrity. My son Cameron went on a Philmont Mountain trek and was chosen to be the chaplain's aide or the spiritual leader of his group. Both were tough, but he succeeded. And those successes and those opportunities are gonna carry with him. You know, whether that's on the football field or whether it's slogging through finals week or whether it's challenges he'll face on his mission or as a father, he will carry with him the knowledge that he can accomplish hard things and he will carry those experiences that he had in scouting with him. Well, you know, the scouting program helps them set goals and it helps them learn the steps and the things that they need to do to achieve those goals. And I think that's really helped him now that he's started his career, now that he's a father and a, a husband. What I appreciate is because of the testimony I gained that somewhere in there the Lord knows what he's doing. And through all of those things that they do, they will grow and develop into the, the young men and the men that they need to be through that program, through participating in it.